Um, the second thing is I want to say, as somebody who's been careless enough to lose my seat on um, uh, three occasions in the other house, um, I was struck by reading in today's Irish Independent uh, about uh, a member of that house who lost her seat uh, while on a swing in a hotel in, 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 um, in, Harker, in Harker Street recently. Uh, and uh, I just want to say two... You would have said no, so I'd tread, <laughs> I just want to say carefully. two things without yeah. commenting on the merits of the case. That it would appear that... Um, that you know, 60, 65 years, or no, 55 years after Belfast City Council unlocked the swings on Sunday, uh, the proposal, the, the proposition is being put in court that there should be supervisors for swings when adults are using them, and that it's a matter of civil liability if there if there isn't. And it does occur to me that uh, you know we live in a strange we live in a strange world, where um, uh, civil liability can. Um, uh, exist in such circumstances, but uh, who knows, maybe, maybe we're only hearing a portion of the evidence. But it does equally occur to me that if the government is serious about driving down the claims culture, we cannot uh, uh, stand idly by when adults lose their seat with two objects, one in each hand, and fall off a swing, and then claim that there should have been a supervisor uh, looking after them, especially when it comes from somebody uh, who uh, has so much public influence and clearly influence over government policy uh, in, in these matters. I just want to uh, say one last, one, one last thing in relation to the letter to the Irish Times to which Senator O'Reilly uh, referred. Uh, it merely pointed out, as I read it, that um, the case for medicinal ca uh, cannabis um, is being confused with the case for decriminalization of all cannabis by cannabis users. And I think that that's a... Very high that, 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 that is a...